Hello everyone. Welcome to our new training course of Dixieland Power Factory. We will be having a short introduction about this software tool and we will also discuss different features and modules of this software. Well, Dixieland Power Factory is a computer-aided engineering tool which has been written by experts of Dixieland and it is used for the planning and operation of transmission system, distribution system and industrial network ranging from low voltage to extra high voltage or even ultra high voltage. One of the main advantage of using Dixieland Power Factory is that it is an integrated software with a single database for all the network components. Let's start the software tool and we will discuss different features of this software. Well, this software actually provides a single program environment which can be used to perform all kind of analysis like load flow, transient stability, harmonic analysis, protection coordination and model analysis. Well, size of the network in terms of buses and simulation modules depend upon the license which you purchase from Dixieland. Let's talk about software database objects and classes. Dixieland Power Factory offers a hierarchical object oriented database which means all the components and calculation commands are treated as object which belong to specific type of class. Here is the list of the simulation functions which this software tool provides like load flow analysis, low voltage network analysis, short circuit analysis, RMS simulations with a 12 that is also called the time demand simulation for stability analysis, eigenvalue or model analysis, contingency analysis, optimal power flow, protection analysis, harmonic analysis, EMT simulation, well, which provides the time demand simulation for electromagnetic transits for very short durations, model parameter identification, reliability analysis, generator adequacy analysis, Distribution network optimization, network reduction, state estimation. Now let's talk about the Dixieland Power Factory GUI. This graphical user interface provides different menus, different tools to build the network and to, to perform different calculation. Let's start with the development of a simple three bus case study. This is a small network consists of three buses two of which are 500 kV and one is 24 kV with which our synchronous generator is connected and this small network consists of two transmission lines one transformer and a load well in order to start a new project you will go to the file menu and then from new you will select the project enter the project name we will name it as Dixieland Training click OK you need to enter the name of the grid, we will keep it as grid. We are changing the frequency to 60 Hz, click OK. After starting the project, window like this opens, which consists of a single line graphic diagram, an output window. On the left side, we have different case studies in this project. On the right side, we have all the components which, are, which can be interconnected to develop the model of the network. We will select the single bus bar scheme from these components. We will place three bus bars into the single line diagram. After rearranging these bus bars, we will enter the voltage level and the name of bus bars. Over here, we will change the voltage to 500 kV and we will name it 500 kV to show the voltage level on single line graphics. From this substation, you can name this bus bar as load bus. Click OK, again OK, and it will ask about the change in nominal voltage. We will click yes. Okay. Again, we will change the voltage level of the second bus. We'll change it to the 500 kV to show the voltage level on the single line graphics diagram. Here we will name it as HV bus. Click OK and again OK. 
for the third verse we will change the nominal voltage to 24 and again we will name it as LV bus after renaming all the buses we will interconnect these buses with different branches from the right pan we will select transmission line and we will simply click on the bus bar with which this transmission line is to be connected these are different bays or dias with which we will connect the transmission line we will click the bus bar with which we want to connect the far end of the transmission line as we have two circuits originating from these bus bars we will add another transmission line after entering the transmission line press escape to change the data of the transmission line or to enter another component from the right pan we will select a two winding transformer we will interconnect the HV bus and LV bus with the two winding transformer and then again we will press escape and after this we have to select a synchronous generator we will connect a synchronous machine with the LV bus and then again press escape as we know we have a load so we will select a general load and we will connect it with the load bus and press escape now we have completed the single line diagram of our case study now we are ready to enter the data for the transmission lines transformer load and generator in order to enter the data for transmission line we have been provided with details of these line parameters what we will do we will click on the transmission line for which we need to enter the data first of all we will rename it from load bus to HV bus after entering the name we will enter the length of the transmission line which is 186 kilometer in order to enter the parameter for this transmission line we will go to the type from the type go to the project type and then line type from this line type we need to define a new object a new menu will pop up in which we can enter the parameters for the line type as we have a tray 4 bundled connector for 500 kV line well the rated voltage is obviously 500 kV and from the rated kilo amperes we'll go to the data and we have 3.56 kilo amperes rating then the nominal frequency is 60 hertz and we have overhead line now we have to enter the positive negative and zero sequence resistance and reactance and we know that we have been provided with these parameters which is we will just copy these parameters from the data we will enter these values one thing you need to make sure that these parameters are in correct units either uh, you can select uh, it as reactance per length or inductance per length as we have been provided with reactance so we are good to go and from the load flow you will see that you have boxes for susceptance of this transmission line and from the provided data we will copy the positive sequence and negative sequence susceptance and zero sequence susceptance and we will just click OK after clicking OK we have defined a new project type for this transmission line well in order to enter the data for second transmission line we will just double click and we will rename it load bus to HV 
bus 2 and we will enter the length of this transmission line which is 100 kilometer and from the type we will go to the project type select the project type and we have already defined the conductor parameters in the line type we will just select it and all the parameter will, will automatically be calculated we will just click ok now in order to enter the parameters for transformer we will just double click and we will re rename it as 500 slash 24 kV power transformer well in order to enter the project type we will just go to the type and we will define a new project type and from this we need to define the parameters for this transformer as we know this is a 500 slash 24 kV and the rating of this transformer is 2220 MVA and in the MVA rating we will enter above provided MVAs and the nominal frequency we know this is 60 Hertz and HV side we know the nominal voltage for HV side is 500 and for LV side this is 24 kV and we know the vector group for this transformer is YN, YN and no phase shift this is YN, YN already by default this is YN, YN okay now we will enter the percentage reactance which is 15% and then click OK again OK now we have to find a new component type element type for transformer and we have just single transformer which has been modeled now in order to model the synchronous machine we need to define the machine type we'll just go to the select project and new project type and we know that this is a 24 kV 2220 MVA machine in the rating menu we will enter the above rating in kVs we know this is 24 kV and we know the power factor is 0.8 okay now we will enter the synchronous reactances direct and axis and quadrature axis reactances Direct access reactance is 1.81 and quadrature reactance is 1.76 and then click OK. We have modeled all the components. We will enter the load. Which is 1000 megawatt active load and 700 MVAR as reactor load. Now we have modeled complete network. In order to show the color scheme for different voltage level, we will go to the color scheme menu. From other, we will select topology and voltage levels and then click OK. So according to the voltage level, different color scheme will appear on the single line graphics diagram which is quite easy to trace and look into the system and look into the details of the system. As we have already discussed that 
Components can be entered in both ways either through single line graphic diagram or data manager. In order to open the data manager just go to this icon and list of all the projects will appear from the drop down. You can check all the defined element types over here in equipment type library and in network data you can see all the defined elements in the single line graphics diagram these elements can also be defined in data manager and later on these equipment can be drawn in the single line diagram here we are concluding our lesson number one in lesson number two we will focus on load flow studies thank you very much